This is the partial quotients division method for decimals. Basically when we're doing decimals we're going to use the same exact method. So to do that we'd like to get rid of the decimal point while we actually divide. But before we do that we want to make an estimate so that we know where to put the decimal point back when we're done. So when I have a problem like this where I have 7 into 87.6 I want to estimate my 87.6 to something that will be close to 7 does go in. So let's assume I know my 12 times tables. I know 7 times 12 is 84. That gives me a pretty close um, answer here. So in my mind, I'm thinking my answer is going to be somewhere close to 12. So I'm thinking in my mind, 84 divided by 7 equals 12. So when I finish, I know I'm going to be somewhere in a tens place value or somewhere around there. This is going to help me put my decimal point back in. So I draw my line just like I did before. Now instead of thinking of 87.6, I'm instead going to think of it just as 80, 876 instead. So I think out how many sevens go in 876. And again, I'm trying to use friendly numbers, numbers that I can use in my head. So I always start with something like 100. 100 times 7 is 700. And I subtract. Now I have 7 into 176. Again, I'm not going to try to get it exact here. I'm going to get as close as possible. So I think, okay, 100 sevens is obviously too much. 10 sevens is 70. So maybe I go to 20. 70 plus 70 is 140. Again, I'm trying to use numbers that are easy to do in my head. I'm left with 36. 7 into 36. I know it goes 5 times. 35. I get a remainder of 1, which is an indication I can now stop since 7 will not go into that. On the outside, I'm going to carefully add up my quotients, making sure, again, to keep my columns in order here. 1s, 10s, and 100s. Now, I have an answer of 125, remainder 1. Obviously, the remainder here is not ideal, but let's assume I'm going to ignore the remainder. Um, maybe it's a situation where um, I'm not going to use any extra. I would leave that out. So I bring up my 125, and I, I need to notice here that my estimate was 12 originally. So obviously 125 is too much, which tells me to put my decimal point in between the 2 and the 5, which gives me 12.5, which is obviously very close to my estimate. Again, I do have a remainder here. Um, if I wanted to turn that into a decimal as well, I could. Um, but this is partial quotients um, division method using decimals.